Okay, let's uh, let's go again. So, Raven. Oh, uh, some German. Oh, really? Bought? Do you want to play or not? I don't know. Don't know if he wants to play or not. Okay, I'm playing. I thought you wanted a German or something. Uh, can I sacrifice that pawn for a bit of initiative? doing on the 15 minute recently. Should I be worried? He's lost a few there. Up and down. Okay, what about oh f6 is h5 with knight back. I don't know if it's that good. Bishop e7, provocative for knight f8. Maybe then h6 later. H5, knight f8, queen c7, drawing castle, queen side. Weakening his uh, king position if he does castle, uh, king side later. Hmm. Queen c7. Also queen side. Hmm. Okay. Oh, if I lock up the position and try and cause a queen side later, is that any good? I could try that. Tempted to, I'll try it. So maybe h6 to stop any use of g5, then b5 later a5. Unless b5 is needed here. And I'm locking in the position, but I have my king's not committed yet to king side. So b5 and a5 might be good. My h7 to uh, g5. Let's change off the dark square bishops. I don't think we have this great bishop here. What about a5, rook a6, queen a8? Just to get queen side pressure going. So a5. This is something serious going on here. Don't think there's anything too serious. I hope. Famous last words. Knight g6. Oh dear. Hang on. The knight's protecting against bishop g6 mating. But I better give my king an escape square just in case those kind of tactics are important. I don't know. Um, queen f3 for knight g6? Or is bishop g5 worth considering? It does sort of. Create some squares. Uh, it's got f4. I can maybe take on h4. This knight rerouting is a bit of an issue. What about queen? Just queen somewhere. c7 to immediately melt to castle queen side. Uh, mind you, f7 is now an issue after queen f3. So I'm sort of stuck. So maybe knight h7. And castle kingside or knight h7 to g5 to attack that queen on f3. Getting ridiculous sort of position. But unfortunately, I've left it too late. 
Queen F3. Okay, if he wants, let's test this. He can. He can play Queen F3. Otherwise, I castle and maybe Bishop E8 to protect F7 if needed. Right, is he letting me off the hook? Maybe. I don't think A4 is that powerful. Could be mistaken. Castle. Queen side. <clears throat> Okay, so I can get King B7, I'll be happy. Rook A8, I'll be very happy. King safer. What about F6 as well? I use the idea to control G6, but F6, if I try and get the center looser. So King B7, Rook A8. <clears throat> King B7, Rook A8. Okay, so A takes here, A takes, or B takes, maybe B takes to force, uh, to not lose B5 for a moment. That's B5. I mean, I have to do this. Whoops. And he's got this attack of some sort. I mean, it's not a big deal. His king's still in the center here. His bishop takes B5. There's C3 in fact of takes C3 and also there's Bishop B3 on the cards. I mean B3 on the cards, squashing on the queen side. The bishop takes B5 and surely I can defend the queen side here. Things are a bit disarray, aren't they? <coughs> Is C3 actually winning a piece? Is there any Zwishan Zugs or something? It looks like uh well, the king's there, so rook c1 takes. Nah, nah, surely not. I could play king b7 if c3 takes, takes rook c1, king b7. So I think this is still pleasant actually. This position, if I can get to play b3, I'll be kind of squashing on the queen side. By the way, in terms of ratings, please can I just remind everyone that. There's only about seven people above 2300 on this uh, pool, rating pool. Uh, quite hard to get a higher rating, so uh, it's auto pairing. I'm not purposely playing people under 2000, <laughs> just to make that clear. So I'm going to play B3, I think, here. And maybe Queen B6 pretty soon. Uh, to force a peace sack. I'm sure he's going to set the knight. Yes. So what about, I don't know, is the attack raging here? What about queen c4, say? Queen c4, queen moves back. We can't castle. I'm not really convinced. There's no queen a2. So queen c4's got merit to it to try and extinguish some flames. I'll play queen c4. For the moment, can I rig it out? King b7, rook c8. If I force the bishop to go back, oh, b4. I don't know. King b7, bishop b3. Queen b5, bishop a4, queen goes back to c4. I'm clearing up the b file for his attack. That's the thing. I think king b7 looks logical for rook c8. I don't see anything beating it at the moment. So rook c8, just try and then use the c file. If he, he can't castle. The knight's kind of not useful at the moment, although I should have maybe taken it because knight f3 to d2 could be dangerous. Right, if I do take that, there's an onslaught. There's queen c7 as an alternative. Is the onslaught that big? That's the question. Um, is it that much to right hand that? If I take bishop a4, he can try and castle, then use the b file later. So his pawn's currently protecting my king. 
So am I going to play crazy and take that b5 pawn? I'm not really sure either way. Uh, I could try and play knight c6 and king c7 later. Oh, so I'll go for that. Okay, okay, I'll go for the crazy move. So bishop a4 is going to use the b file later. Or even do this. Oh dear. What about check or something? Bishop b4 check at some point. Uh, queen b4 check. Take some queen c6. Take some queen b4, bishop c6. If I take bishop c4, queen b4, there's no bishop c3. I think I'm going to go for that. I'll take for this diagonal. I'll try and get in bishop c6. <clears throat> so queen b4 here. I'm hoping it's okay. Bishop c3, but no, b5 is dangerous. Bishop c6, I'm, a6 is okay. So bishop c6. I'm starting to get scary. It's just a question how scary. What about rook c8? Hold on a sec. Sunshine, light, rook c8. It's just dawned on me. <laughs> this is a nasty pin. What, what is this? Bishop c3, I just take on c4. And if he moves the king, there's rook c8. And there's queen e4, bishop c6. Skewing queen on rook. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. With these guys out of the picture, there's enough material here to cause trouble though. But rook c8 looks really cool, so I'm going to go for rook c8 here. There's no rook a4, there's no bishop a6, there's queen e4, there's bishop c6. D five, E D Bishop D five. I take the queen. Okay, so Bishop C six looks juicy, skewering. So D five, I just take. Queen's protected by the bishop on E seven, thankfully. So there's no Bishop E six after D five, winning the queen. Uh, so is he in trouble here? Could simplify queen c4 soon if queen d3, queen c4, bishop g2 check to get the queens off. Otherwise, or I could just take the rook, maybe that's simpler. Just take the rook and the rook. I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> it doesn't look as though this is much of a problem. If I take the rook, I'd be threatening queen c4. So, okay, so ed here. Not not bishop d5 because that's check, so e d. Hmm. As we're going here, so I'm recovering of some rating points tonight. It's a 2 1 5 2. Interesting game. Uh, a bit scary at the points. Uh, okay, but he didn't get his pieces in uh, into the attack. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.